This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. From WFAA.com, a woman was cleared to walk through Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport security checkpoint and board a plane with a firearm in her purse. The Transportation Security Administration confirmed yesterday afternoon. Sources said images of the gun was eventually spotted by a TSA agent, which was when the search for the woman began. Law enforcement and TSA agents were able to locate the woman on board an American Airlines plane parked at gate D-31 and brought her back to the screening area for a rescreen, where they discovered a 38 caliber revolver in her purse. She reportedly denied knowing the firearm was in her purse. The woman was taken into custody by Dallas police and will be charged with places weapons prohibited, a third-degree felony. American spokesman Tim Smith says Flight 2385 was scheduled to fly to Houston. The flight was delayed for just over an hour and other passengers were rescreened before the plane departed. About 10 other flights were also delayed after authorities closed DFW Terminal D. From the Associated Press, online retailer Zappos.com and parent company Amazon.com are being sued in Kentucky by a Texas woman alleging that she was harmed by the release of personal account information. Officials with Zappos in Nevada and Amazon in Seattle declined comment Wednesday on the lawsuit filed Monday in U.S. District Court in Louisville, Kentucky. It was filed hours after Zappos CEO Tony Hasha reported that customers' names, phone numbers, and email addresses may have been accessed in a hacker attack. Attorney Mark Gray seeks class action status for plaintiff Teresa D. Stevens of Beaumont, Texas, and 24 million other customers for what Gray alleges was a violation of the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act. Henderson, Nevada-based Zappos announced Monday it was contacting customers by email and urging them to change their password. Apparently, people in Texas love their wine. A winery owner in Fredericksburg says sales are at their highest since 2004. The owner of Toro di Pietra Vineyard says he didn't expect such high sales, especially since January is typically a slow month. But sales are up 20%, he says. It could be the better economy or just more people raising a glass. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.